Hello, all my gamer frangulums. It's another day, and there has been a slight controversy with the release of some of the behind the scene photos of the shooting of Last of Us Season 2, currently shooting in BC. The fans have spoken, and they're not happy with some of the images they're seeing, and so we're going to get into that after the intro. So, of course, don't forget, like and subscribe, and part of an article, but this is all over the news, that some of the new images from the set has people divided about Ellie's look, and Dina's look as well. And over here on X, the Last of Us news, it seems right now that they're shooting right in Vancouver. I used to live in Vancouver, so I recognize some of the areas they're in. This looks like Chinatown to me. It does give you a pretty good shot of both of them. And for a lot of people, the controversy is about how Bella's hair is longer. Like, as right here, you can see the tattoo is slightly smaller, even though it's almost exact. But still, people are not happy about that. Even though everything else is pretty much the same, and her hair is longer instead of shorter, personally, I don't care. But people can get really upset about stuff like that. Going through Kotaku, which highlight some of the comments it's just interesting to see how people are getting reacting to it people complaining like it's smaller and placed differently hard it almost looks the exact same size it's slightly placed differently i mean i don't know they have to give her this tattoo like every day when she starts i'm assuming unless they somehow make it in a way that she doesn't have to get it done every single day so it could be hard with continuity wise have the tattoo in the exact same spot every day. This one's interesting, just some, a, a cosplay shot, which does look really good, because cops cosplayers go all out, and they do a great job. I swear to God, there are online cosplayers that did a better job than this shit portrayal. Ellie's fuck-ass bob is nowhere to be seen, and the tattoo is ugly as hell. Did they even try? Ugly as hell. It's the same tattoo. Just because it's not perfectly on her arm the same way, people is gonna freak out. Even right here, they have a actual analysis of these photos that look like they're taken from like act naughty dog production stills or something tattoo too small in the wrong spot no butch bob what is going on here what does that even mean i want here some stupid crap that kids say these days don't give me that why does it matter either because the tattoo literally covers her big ass bite scar it covers her bite scar but in the show her scar isn't as big as in the game there's lots of different things they change for the show that isn't exactly like in the game this point here is a little, does make a little bit of sense. Why does Dina have a blowout in the middle of the apocalypse and Ellie has long ass hair? So I don't know why they gotta say it. They're gonna get snatched up by clickers. Dina's look does bother me a little just because Isabella just looks way too prettied up to be like out in the middle of this apocalyptic zombie clicker filled wasteland. And it looks like she's wearing makeup and her hair's done. I mean, that's just stupid. Like, Bella looks more, like, sensible, because why would you be doing your hair and doing makeup when you're out in this world right now? Like, that doesn't matter. So I think it's a little bit much to have her looking kind of, like, prettied up. As you can see, the actress who played Dina looked way different. I just thought it was a weird choice, even in the games, to have an actress play her physically, but then Dina the character was actually voiced by Shannon Woodward from Raising Hope and other shows. But here she has like a gun and a knife. Here she has like these holsters that go down to her knees. So I do have a little bit of a beef with that. Casting wise, I was never like, oh no, how dare they? Especially with Bella, people thought that was a huge deal. Like they were upset, but I was like, I'm gonna give her a chance. I'm sure she's a good actress and she nailed it. But some people have some good videos of them just kind of like on set. Uh, Isabel kind of looks like she's maybe hot. She's like sweaty or something, like she's waving at herself. And of course, on their bus, they loved their buses in last season. They would be moving that bus around all the time. So here's a comparison of the hair. And yeah, it's back in a little ponytail or bob, whatever they call it. But because it's not short, everyone's like, oh no, East Pender. Uh, I used to live in Van and I, I miss it sometimes. I spent a lot of time downtown, like walking around. So I know a lot of these, these streets pretty well. This is someone probably shooting right outside their window. But it looks a lot like it did in, when it was shooting in Calgary. Here in Calgary, where I live, I guess there's not much you can do when someone's shooting outside your window. Like, sir, sorry, or ma'am, uh, could you not look out your window today? We're shooting a show. Please? Thanks. And there's one little... No, this, this reminds me of the exact similar shot from the first season in Edmonton. They were shooting, uh, walking down the... Walking down the ready-to-shoot-something scene. 
There isn't a whole lot to see, but these are some good pictures right here that someone else took. Like a really nice... Yeah, see that there isn't part of the set. That's just Chinatown, so... This just looks like pre-shot. They're just like chilling, talking. I don't know. But you can notice that they're the exact same height, which is interesting. I feel like they purposely did that. They found someone the same size as Ella. Fuck, Bella. That's so irritating. You can get a better shot of all the crap on their leg. Like they both have an, uh, a holster strapped to their legs. But also the first shot of the Seraphites, the, uh, the clan, the cult, whatever from the game that were actually pretty creepy. Like, they never talked, they just made these noises to, like, signal, signal each other, and it was kind of like, it got really good at making you kind of get tripped out when you would hear them communicating with each other with their sounds. So they were pretty creepy. Here's a shot of the extras just doing their thing, waiting, sitting underneath the tree, because I guess maybe they're too... Feel this. But you never know, they're so good at doing set design, like, this could be a fake rock wall, but it probably is real. Actually, maybe it is fake. There's bullet holes in it. Is that a set? Like, honestly, you can't even tell because it's so well done. Like, if it's set or not, but there's, there is bullet holes in it. That part of Vancouver is pretty, it's pretty hard. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of homelessness in that area specifically. And it's gotten a lot worse. When I lived there, it was pretty bad. But I'm seeing it on the news now for how bad it's gotten. People just tenting in the middle of, the, on the sidewalks. The bus I would take to school would go right by here. I went to film school in Vancouver. That's why I was living there. Obviously not part of the scene, they're just... But you can see they're exactly the same height. But as you can see, people are, like, getting... Going way overboard. But, you know, there's people that are hard, hard, hardcore fans of the series. And they have, like, fan accounts just for, like, Ellie and Joel. But this person's like, they didn't even try, I'm crying. That's just a silly thing to say. Like, that's way too over dramatic. You know, kids these days are, like, literally just a bunch of babies and they cry about everything. But this part of the article I wanted to highlight because it's exactly what... Exactly what I'm saying, or people with common sense are saying. While there is certainly some pushback about Ellie and Dina's looks in the show, plenty of other fans argue that the grand scheme of things, it doesn't have a huge effect on the show's story. Exactly. And character arc. Ramsey is not an exact replica of Ellie, so some accommodations had to be made. Also, if people want to watch something that is identical to the game, they could, you know, play the game. While Ellie and Dina have people in their feelings. Folks seem pretty universally positive on what seems to be the first look at the Seraphites. These people are a cult in Seattle, and Ellie is mostly passing through their story during her time in the city, and some of the set photos show what appear to be a group of actors in costume between takes. Based on what we know for HBO's plan for The Last of Us, it's likely we'll see more of the Seraphites in season 3 if the show divides part 2 story the same way as the game. I'm sure it will. But we'll avoid diving too deep into the hypothetical. But I actually did want to go back and focus on Bella for a second, just because this is a pretty good picture someone posted comparing her from the first to the last. And then she does look older. I mean, the thing about Bella is that she has a very young looking face. Like the first season, I believe she was around 19 or so, 20, that, but she's playing like a 14, 15 year old girl. But she looks so young, she was able to pull it off. Now we're a few years later, she pretty much looks the same, but now she's playing around her actual age, like 19, early 20s. I have a feeling that they may not time jump as much between seasons as they did in the games. It was like between part one and part two, it was five years. In the show world, I don't think they've clarified yet if there's going to be like a five year gap or maybe it's just a couple years, like one year, two year, three years. That hasn't been totally clarified. It's curious to know, like, how would you how would you age someone who is that same age? Assuming that Ellie is like 19 now, let's say Ellie is 19. And now Bella is probably 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm not even sure. But like, how do you age someone who's essentially that same age of the character? It's amazing how much hair can actually change how someone looks age-wise when they just adjust it a certain way. Someone actually posted a picture of what Anna Torv looked like in season one. It's the exact same haircut. So that's interesting. I don't, I, I'm not sure if there's anything to that or they're just suggesting it. It is an interesting thing to point out. Here's another pretty good picture of them. But their height is so exact, and in the games, I can't remember if they're the same height. I mean, I think they were. But they're both holding their gun the exact same way. This image here, I actually find funny. Like, because Isabella Mercat is clearly a fucking princess. You can just tell. They're between sets, and Bella hasn't changed at all. She's wearing the exact same thing. But this lady, she's like, I have to put on my Crocs, and I have to take off my shirt. And she looks like she has something in her hand. 
maybe cold packs to keep herself cool. Like, that's how much of a princess she is. Oh, I, I, it's too hot. I need to be cooled down. Somebody put a fan on me while I'm sitting. But you do get a good shot of her face. Like, this is the best shot of her face I've seen. It isn't as prettied up as I thought. And she has a little bit of scarring on her face. Between shots, she's all like this. And Bella is barely changed at all. This shot here is, I don't know if they're filming, but you can see, it looks like Isabel's looking great at the camera. It must be pretty distracting though, when you're trying to film a scene and there's people in the background. But I think Isabel needs to fucking give her balls a tug, that's what I think. But for every game out there, there's always an extremely passionate group of people, regardless of the game or how popular it is. The Last of Us series is a huge series, so people are going to go off about every possible little thing. Personally, it doesn't bother me at all. I still think that Isabella is a little bit too much of a princess for this role. I feel like it's done for the show to show the differences between them. In the games, they're actually kind of similar in a way. Like, like they're pretty kind of similar character-wise. Like, the fans get so defensive that they don't... It's important that creative accommodations have to be made for adapting anything to the screen. It's never going to be exact no matter what. And personally, like I said, I don't care. I mean, the show is going to be good. I know, just like I knew last season, the show is going to be great and end up being amazing. So I'm looking forward to this show, obviously. They haven't given it a solid release date yet, especially since they're still filming and it's July. It's like almost mid-July. They're still filming. Last season, they finished filming in like June. So here they are. It's July and they're still filming. So it will come out on 2025 likely mid to late 2025. All we can do is wait, look at more pictures when they come online, but I'm excited and I don't think it's that big of a deal about the changes they had to make. But what about you guys? Do you guys think it's a big deal? Do you care at all? Do the changes bother you? It's because change is necessary. Change is part of life. You have to deal with it. You have to get over it. And with that huge drop of wisdom on my part, it's time for me to bid you adieu. But don't forget to like and subscribe. But above all else, don't forget to keep gaming.